please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This is you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So we have some signing news today and then some important signing news for the New York Rangers as center Ryan Strom has agreed to a two-year deal worth $4.5 million for the next couple of seasons. So the Rangers get their second line center back, avoiding arbitration and um, getting him locked up for the next couple of years. And this is a big deal for the New York Rangers who Strom had a huge season for them last year, and, and he plays a really important role on that team behind Mika Zibanejad, who is the number one center. And and for this is big for Ryan Strom as well, because he really, really seems to have found a home here with the Rangers after really struggling in Edmonton and the end of his career with the New York Islanders. If you, we look at Ryan Strom's career, he had one good season with the New York Islanders back in 2014-15 where he had 50 points and he really started to live up to the high draft pick that he was. He was taken fifth overall back in 2011, but it was all downhill from there for Strom after that, his second season in New York. And then his point total dropped to 28, then he had 30, then he had 34 in his first year with Edmonton, which was disappointing. They were hoping to get him back to that 50 mark. And then he ended up getting traded to the Rangers in the during the 2018-19 season towards the beginning of it. And he ended up playing uh, 63 games with New York that season. And he had 33 points and started to look like, OK, he might be coming back a little bit. He might get his career back on the upswing. And then last year happened. 70 games played, a career high 59 points, a career high uh, 41 assists, tied a career high in goals for with with 18. Um, an incredibly good season for Ryan Strom with the New York Rangers last year as their number two center, and the, it was really important for New York to to get him locked up because they are not overly deep down the middle. Obviously, they have Zabinijad as their number one, who's a spectacular player. They have Strom as their number two. And then they've got, you know, guys like Philip Heedle, Brett Howden, um, you know, Kevin Rooney, Colin Blackwell just at signed in free agency. Those two just signed in free agency this year. Like they're not overly deep down the middle when you get past that duo of Zabinijad and Strom. They needed Ryan Strom back. And to get him back at four point five million dollars per year, um, I think it's a very good contract for New York. Um, there, there is, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this contract at all. This is great for Ryan Strome because he's fit in with the Rangers really well. He's playing the best hockey of his career. It's very good for the Rangers to get him back in that lineup for at least the next two seasons. And the $4.5 million cap hit is very, very reasonable for a, a guy who would have had 60 plus points last season if it was a full season and didn't get cut short at 70 games for the Rangers. So, um, I have, I, I have nothing bad to say here. This is a great one. Um, this is a great signing for the New York Rangers. And then when you look at their salary cap situation, uh, they still have 6.3 million in cap space. They got D'Angelo signed. They got, uh, Strom signed. The only RFA they have remaining is Brendan Lemieux. Um, 6.3 million is more than enough to sign Brendan Lemieux. Um, he's probably only going to be around a couple million because he's a fourth line guy. So he's probably going to be around a couple million, um, per year, but they've got, they're in good caps, uh, a good cap situation, at least for now, still with the New York Rangers next off season, that might change a little bit. Um, they've got a lot of RFAs next off season and some big ones and Igor Shesterkin, Pavel Buchnevich, uh, Ryan Lindgren. They've got some big RFAs next off season, but for this coming season, they're in great shape cap wise. They're still they're still fine with the salary cap. They've got their important players re-signed except for Lemieux. And even signing Lemieux shouldn't be an issue at this point for the Rangers. They've got more than enough cap space. They're still got over six million in space. Um and they're they're you know they're doing what they need to do. Um I have nothing bad to say about this signing for New York and it's really really good for them to get Ryan Strome back as their number two center so 
that pretty much does it. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our Patreon merchandise store and donation link are in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.